Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going live. 128 people right. waiting. The button didn't ungray. Okay, we're live now. Anyway, uh, I see Carl in the uh, comments. Orange pylon. What's up, dude? Uh, welcome everybody. If you can hear me, say something because YouTube be be, be horrible with these live streams. Uh, I'm joined today by two lovely developers of Aethermancer. If you guys could introduce yourself. Hello, I am Anton, or Antonist here on Discord and Twitter and everywhere. And um, yeah, basically, I'm the game design lead for Ethermancer. Nice. And I am Galina. I am uh, our marketing and community manager person here at Moira Games, or one of our community managers. And also very, very happy to be here again with uh, at an Anton on stream. Actually, we have been in the exact same group already. Do you yes. guys remember? Yeah, yeah the Monster <laughs> Sanctuary. That was for the DLC, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, I remember. So it's a reunion. Yeah, it's been it's <laughs> been a while. So so guys, before we go crazy, I just want to make sure: does everybody sound like you? They you can hear everybody clearly. I got the game music a little quieter on purpose. Uh, can everybody hear everybody in the in the chat? Uh, you guys, like like, can you hear all three of us well? Just so nobody's like drowned out by anyone. Yeah. And there's going to be a stream delay, so I got to wait for them to actually hear that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so far, oh. I have not seen complaints. Okay, she is a little quiet. Okay, we can okay, fix okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody um, said it's guten easier Abend. for you to... Guten Abend to, um... to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn Galena up a little bit. Okay, good. <laughs> nice, thank you. Then I don't have to raise my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just scream at them. Yeah, it will be... Ed, you're louder than the other two. Am I like significantly louder or just slightly louder? Because it just might be the way I speak. Because I, I have a very loud voice. <laughs> yeah, we're okay, gonna uh, try we're really just gonna hard pump to pump up our energy. Exactly. Come on, Anton, we can do that. We can be loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, most people said we're, we're good. I see a lot of hearts. I don't even I didn't even know that's a thing on YouTube. You can heart. You can. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I, I, again, I haven't streamed in forever, so. Did this turn? Okay, so um. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about what Aethermancer is while I uh, just sort of set set this up? Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, sure. Well, sh uh, should, I, uh, should I start uh, on? You are the saleswoman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sales, but okay. Well, um, Aethermancer is a lot of things, which is why I sometimes struggle to explain it. But I think the easiest uh, how you could say it is it's a monster taming roguelike RPG. Rogue light, actually, but many people don't really know the difference. That means uh, you can tame a lot of very cool monsters. Um, you have uh, rogue a roguelite structure with hubs and meta progression. That's an important differentiation from a roguelike. Um, but you also have some RPG mechanics. And special for our game, Eva Mensa, is that we uh, build on a lot of strengths from our first game, Monster Sanctuary, that many of you probably know. Meaning uh, we also have turn-based battles and a free versus free combat with a like very strategic... Um, yeah, strategic combat. <laughs> Sorry, it's late oh, over wow. here in Germany. <laughs> and uh, exactly, I would say that is like the most uh, basic description about Ephraimenza. Yeah, pretty much. I think uh, that's a good elevator pitch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, things should feel familiar for people who have played our previous game, Monster Sanctuary. There's also some notable differences, of course. As uh, gym leader Ed will discover, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ed is like the very first person to play uh, the game live on stream. So <laughs> I feel so special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's that also thing. means you have a high risk of failing, but we are here to support you. So. <laughs> oh, that's okay. My audience already knows how much I suck at video games. Yeah, oh. I've already seen it like in the very beginning before the stream wasn't even live. Someone said you died. Oh yeah, it was Ben <laughs> 69 times. <laughs> yeah, they, they they know. I I I'm the, every game I've ever done a let's play for, there's this like redemption arc. I start out horrible and then most oh. people stop watching, but then the ones that stick around see me become OP. <laughs> so you, you just have to wait for that. Nice. Sometimes it takes longer than I it, it took me like 20 episodes before I was OP in Power World, but it happened. <laughs> well, I do hope the same will happen for Eva Mensa. And um, I mean, we will watch you play, and everyone, you can enjoy just learning about the gameplay. Anton will introduce like all the mechanics, and if you have questions, just put them in the text because we are in the comments because we are here to answer almost all of them, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Person guy yeah, said. Uh, question, uh, actually. 
Yeah, I know. Oh, person guy said the the color palette's beautiful, and I was I was just about to say like, look how nice the pixel art is in this game, guys. Oh. Every every yeah. time I <laughs> every time I I try to showcase a game, people will be like, well, Aethermancer looks way better, and I'm like, guys, no, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh -huh. guys, like, uh -huh. yes, their pixel art's really good, but don't be mean. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we also have a team. On. Like that's a make that makes a difference. Mm. Play team. Nice. Let's go. All right. All right. Yeah, we I got figured out how to start a run. So. Hey, it's it's Anton in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that's his Discord profile. <laughs> okay, so it looks like every monster has an aura. I'm guessing that's like a passive ability. Um, yeah, Anton, maybe you want to explain um, the basics about a monster. Yeah, uh, well, an aura is actually something that uh, affects like uh, the whole party, basically. Oh, but okay. Actually, in this case, it's a bit misleading. Um, but yeah, you can see the tooltips also, which are meant to help you out. But um, yeah, you have a choice here. There's like your first monster. Right now, it's basically just like a random selection of three of the monsters that are currently playable. Um, and each monster has like health, of course. They all start out with one perk which is kind of like an attribute or like a or kind of like a small bonus like uh, Volpertinger you can see has crit chance and the other one have plus one ether which basically is like a resource that you need to uh, that you need to spend for actions um so that it's kind of like mana so they basically help you out with using your actions and each monster also has types and elements which determine what kind of skills they can learn so for Ooze, for example, you can see Poison, Tank, and Affliction. Basically, it means you have skills that apply Poison and like synergize with Poison. Uh, you can also turn Ooze into a Tank. And Affliction is kind of a special type which specializes in um, kind of like a... a how do you say? Um, yeah, but also putting debuffs on your own monsters for benefits. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a high risk, high rewards uh, okay. type, basically. Like, and each monster also has like a signature trait, which uh, is also meant to tell you a lot about how you are meant to play the monsters, because these are really things that are meant to make the monsters stand out and allow you to play uh, and build around them. Like, these are things that only this one monster has. Like for Volpatinger, you can see it can. Uh, like use the actions of enemies and then you can also purge their ether which means that you take away their ether so they can't use their actions which is pretty powerful mm. um yeah ooze has this thing where it applies poison on itself but it's not so bad because whenever ooze takes poison uh, the enemies also take damage from it oh okay so yeah as i said high risk high reward <laughs> and then we got oh, tentacle, like tentacle, tentacle man over here so Ed, I just want you to say someone in your chat wants you to pick Volpertinger because I, I think they would enjoy you spelling the name. <laughs> I, I I saw that Carl's a Carl's a, a little bit of a troll. That's actually the uh, abomination. Oh, dev. it's Carl! Oh, hi Carl! <laughs> yeah, I know him. Didn't look at your name. Sorry. He's trying to sabotage me. He said he's jealous that I, I'm getting to play. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm also seeing somebody say who's his best boy. I, that was Adam. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, I, I guess um, we could. We, we could. Uh, Star pixel artist. <laughs> do I want to choose the ooze? I, I I don't know. I I don't know if uh, I'm gonna end Anton, up getting maybe, uh, getting what, killed. What should Ed pick for like the easiest uh, like transition? Yeah, I would say Volpertinger or Star Spawn. I was thinking ooze Star Spawn because be I can tricky. call him Tentacle Hentai Monster this whole time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do we don't have, we we have, don't have do naming that. feature yet, but I hope we will do. Oh, add ah. go back. Oh wait, it contains unused. Uh, good thing we have this reminder actually. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. This is the monster shrine. Uh, don't run past it yet. It's uh, pretty important. It basically, lets you get another monster in your team. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. So you start yeah. out with two already. And whenever you see one of these, you can add one more monster to the team. Um, yeah, so we have, have a full party of three. We have Mandra super cute Mandragora, or as we like to call it, Potato Boy. <laughs> or <Tatsu> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mandragora is basically a healer. Okay, um, I'll take him. Yeah, it makes sense actually. <laughs> Mandragora and uh, Star Spawn. Uh, uh, why not? Ed the is Star already Spawn scared, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm horrified. I, I like this little her. sprint though, this is cool. <laughs> too true. Nice. Very yeah, we worked so much on uh, making the exploration feel fun to just like walk around and dash and do all this yeah. stuff. And oh, no. uh, yeah, you got some enemies. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. oh what's uh, Yeah, 
You can initiate a fight with them if you press a uh, space to do the Void Blitz. Oh, or you, or can, you can just can dash into them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically, if you had done the Aether Blitz, you would have gotten an advantage, but uh, I, I guess you don't really need it, so you'll be fine. <laughs> so, uh, Anton, give him some basics on the combat, I guess, or like not only uh, for Ed, but also for our audience. <laughs> yeah, sure. As you can see at the top, on the left side, you have your different elements of Aether. There are four basic elements of Aether, which are uh, the ones that we also have in the Monster Sanctuary, basically uh, fire, earth, water, wind. And each action, as you can see, costs like a different amount of each of these elements. Like mm. with Star Spawn, you have this explosion attack, which costs uh, one, uh, one um, water, one. Uh, Fi uh, one fire, for some reason I was thinking of the names of the colors. It's not blue, <laughs> red, obviously. <laughs> it's uh, water and fire. And uh, it will also do damage of those elements. As it, and as you can see, each enemy has like this icon next to their health, which uh, tells you what weakness they have. And that was already a pro gamer move, because you just used like a water move against Tatsuwom. Mm. And as you can see, now it has only like a one there, before it was four. Oh, so okay. that's, uh, that's called the poise. If you manage to get that down to zero, the enemy gets staggered, which means they lose their next turn. And you will also deal double damage to them. Okay, okay, I like that. So, it's a pretty important um, yeah, core mechanic of our combat system. That's uh, why the elements are pretty important. Like, at least you should try to have coverage of all four of the elements. Yeah, that's... Also, kind of a differentiation, I think. Um, I had some people ask me on social media, I think, how our elements work, because in many games it's like this weakness-strength mechanic, right? That one element mm -hmm. is just weak to the other and it just deals more damage, basically. Yeah. But I think we have a um, very different system, and I didn't even think about explaining it, actually, so far. But, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. People really like the animations, which... Uh, yeah, they're uh, insane how good these animations are. These are crazy. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to all of our... Uh, all three of our... Yeah, yeah. They are doing a great job, definitely. Oh, and this is the Raviness screen. So this is kind of like a meter progression feature, which okay. means that this is one of those things that carry over as you... Uh, do more and more runs. Like if you press T, you can also get like a detailed rundown of uh, what is what is happening here. Okay. So basically, based on all of these different things that your monster is doing, they're getting worthiness points. Okay. Which um, represents that like um, yeah, they uh, uh, like they're getting something which uh, will carry over across their lives. Like it's something that like is part of their soul. That's kind of like one of the big themes of the game. Okay. Because we have this whole rebirth thing going on. So this will be something that like makes them more powerful over time, even if they die and you do more runs and so on. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. So that way you can get more um, bonuses for your monsters, even though they die. Because, yeah, dying is part of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to it let is, you know. It is already. a rogue night after all, but uh, don't be sad, everyone, because if you lose your monsters, you can still uh, rebirth them, like their souls, technically. So uh -huh. it's just matter, you know? Physical <laughs> matter. Yeah. You just picked up an equipment, by the way. So, yeah. Every monster can equip one thing, basically. And those tend to give um, bonuses, which can also be pretty substantial. I can't get over this animation. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> very happy to hear that. You can also do it uh, diagonally, yeah. Void jump. Mm, yep, it's just a little mechanic to like get up on ledges like that. Um, we've been asked about whether the worthiness carries over runs, and yes, it does. Yes, it's basically exactly. Basically, one of the meta progressions um, that you have. So you would do a run yeah. which has always these like biomes that you see like this one looking like how would you describe pilgrimage path actually well anyway and we also have other ones planned and then you would always like if you die um your run ends and you start again in the hub which was the beginning scene that you might have seen with like the buildings and the uh, warm lighting and your worthiness and your other meta progression systems that are not in the game yet because we're still in alpha they carry over yep yeah, so they're meant to give um, kind of like small bonuses. They like uh, we don't want the game to feel too grindy. Like you have to get these worthiness bonuses to be able to beat the game. Um, they're just kind of something to make it feel like the monsters are getting a bit more powerful over time. 
and also make the game a bit more easier, of course, for those who are struggling with it. So if you just stick long enough with the game, um, yeah, you will like get more powerful. That's one of the important things about a roguelite, I think. Yeah. It's definitely not as punishing as a roguelike. Yeah, yeah. Like, you should always feel like, even if your run ends in failure, you should always feel like you're um, getting something out of it, basically. Like, in terms of resources, or getting your monsters more powerful, or just having a better idea of how the game mechanics work. Like, what kind of strategies you can do, and stuff like that. I love how uh, Ed just dashes around. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I still didn't tell you that... Uh... Well, I actually did tell you last time, the Eva Blitz is pretty important, but uh, no worries, you can handle it. <laughs> but, well, Anton, you can tell him something about corruption, or did you already? I don't know, but at least uh, someone in yet. the chat has been asking about the pink and the health bars. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Over time, your monsters will get this uh, uh, thing that is called corruption damage, which is, of course, something that you don't want to have. Basically, um, as you notice at the start of this combat, your monsters are almost at full health. Um, a little bit is missing, that's basically the corruption. Like, uh, the more corruption your monsters have, the less health they will start with in each combat. So, um, yeah, and you get corruption whenever your monsters take direct damage from an enemy's attack, basically. The more damage they take, the more corruption they take. But, um, yeah, it's not so bad yet. You can kind of see it a little bit in the UI, like at the health bars, this is like very shiny purple um, thing, uh, like at the top and bottom of the health bars. Um, yeah. So, it's not too bad yet, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well. <laughs> this is also a bit of a tougher fight because this is like the last fight of this like little uh, like zone that you're in right now. So that's why the enemies are um, already a bit tougher. They're no match for me. I'll destroy them. <laughs> you got good elemental coverage actually. Nice. You got like uh, uh, fire, water damage, earth damage. So. Like, honestly, uh, for also... people who are struggling with the game, uh, one of the big uh, tips that I can give is to just try to make sure that you have coverage of at least three elements, or ideally even four at the start of the game. That just makes like the start of a run, like, go much more smoothly. Yeah, and I think regarding the corruption, because I got a follow-up question, if um, monsters are able to, like, play around this corruption mechanic with their skill trees, um, I mean, it depends a lot oh. on your monsters. There are different strategies to prevent corruption. You can shield your monsters, that, like, um, prevents it 100%, right? If you get... Uh, yeah, as long as the shield can soak up all the damage. Like, the exactly. shield will, um, yeah, only do as much as, uh, as you have it. <laughs> like, yeah. that's the best explanation or, that I can give. <laughs> or you can, of course, just defeat your enemies before they can defeat you. Duh, pro move. Or you can mm -hmm. also cancel uh, actions. If, um, as you see, like, we have this Ether system that Anton already explained with the different elements. And um, mm -hmm. the enemies have that too, and you can see what their next action is planned, so you can, with some monsters, uh, purge their ether and therefore cancel their actions. Or you could yeah, stagger exactly. them, which lets them pause a turn, also cancelling their actions. Yeah. Exactly. There are also some skills that just uh, say you can cleanse corruption for your monsters. There's also like some, like there's one True. equipment and there's one player yeah. item that you can also use for that, so... I would say there are already quite some ways. We might even add more, who knows? We are still early in development, of course, and we are definitely listening to our alpha testers. Like, we already have a lot of interesting discussions going on. And yeah, we are happy to uh, start this process again that we already had going with Monster Sanctuary, basically. Um, having this back and forth with the testers, getting feedback from them, adjusting the game. It's, it's really nice, honestly, to have a connection like that to our community. Like, I'm so glad that we could start the alpha. Like, it's been such a long time. We've, like, been developing this game just, like, on our own. And, yeah, it's it's so nice to be able to yeah. actually show it and get, like, uh, feedback. And, yeah, the reception so far has also been pretty nice. 
I still remember yeah, back when uh, you guys were like teasing that you were working on a new project. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so long ago. I know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we've been working on this for such a long time. It's crazy, honestly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's still so much more to do and to add. Uh, just as a um, reminder for people, what you currently see is just one biome. We plan to have multiple. The number is still uh, to be decided, but um, to give some also variety during the exploration, to have different, well, areas with different fauna and, I don't know, different plants. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, so far and up until the alpha, we were just making sure to get the core mechanics right, being combat system and how you move in the overworld stuff like that yeah exactly interesting suggestion can there be a way to weaponize the corruption like passive bonuses you mean like mm. while you're on low corruption you get like i don't know <laughs> a good chance or something i could see that happen i don't know maybe these are all these uh, kinds of suggestions that people can give when they're in uh, in our closed alpha. So I think while we're speaking of it, uh, I did actually promise some tester spots, didn't I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So I think anyone who's listening, um, I would like your attention for a second for our little giveaway. We're giving away five more tester spots. Just so you're aware, um, it is a closed alpha. That means except for this stream, we've added no other streams. And uh, it also only runs on Windows and uh, Linux currently, Steam Deck also, but not a Mac. But if that does not scare you away, and you're part of our Moira Games Discord server, which the uh, link will be posted in a second, um, then you are very welcome to participate in our giveaway. I just posted um, it. I will just type it real quick. Uh, actually... Let's stagger him first. Oh. Then I can smack him upside the head with everyone Let's go. You also got the sidekick from Wolpeting, which is a really nice mechanic. Oh, by by the way, um, question. What is the... is the... what's the purple... the purple element? Oh, uh, that's called Wild Ether, which is kind of like a secret fifth element. Okay. It's like not a real element, it's more like um, basically Wild Ether can be used as a substitute for any other Ether if you need it. Oh, okay. And there are some monsters which also have special interactions with that, like the Star Spawn that you have right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, because I noticed he needs, he needs seven of five them. Wild, uh, five, five. Oh, was it five? Oh, never mind. Sorry, I was reading it wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's three times seven damage, so that's a ton of damage against the whole enemy party, and it also applies a power buff on itself, which is pretty powerful. And um, yeah, wild. Uh, it also does wild damage, which is similar to wild ether. It just works as like everything, so it just like works as every element at once, mm. which is kind of nuts to be honest. It's very powerful. <laughs> like it can stagger anything. Is there any uh, particular uh, strategy for getting it during battle, or is it just something you get passively? Um, it's based on what skills you have. The signature trait of Starstorm basically lets you regenerate it passively. Oh, okay. Like, if you notice, like, every turn it does this little animation and then yeah. the, it uh, has, like, this element thing. Uh, basically, every turn it selects, like, one of the four elements at random. And then until end of turn, you will get a wild ether for every action that you have that corresponds to the chosen element. So you can try to build a play around that. Ooh, so the giveaway nice. is live, by the way. Um, if anyone is interested to be part of the alpha and help us make this game better, because that's part of the alpha. It's still like sometimes a buggy experience or not super satisfying, even though it's fun. Hopefully, as you can see. But um, if you're interested in doing that, go hop on over to our Discord channel. The link is up a little up, and uh, react with the star spawn emote um, under the latest message in the announcements channel. Mm -hmm. Oh, we already have 63 uh, emotes there. So that's pretty nice. Nice, already 63 <laughs> participants. Yeah. So yeah, there will be five more um, tester spots. 
Oh yeah, and um, uh, did you already try the uh, Void uh, Blitz, by the way? No, actually. Uh, so, so <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> I'm just uh, do you have to try to get close to them without getting detected by them, and then you have to press space on them. But you can only do it while they are not chasing you. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, this guy wants to. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, okay, Warden is like, oh no, he's yeah, too far yeah. away. Now try to sneak up on them, and then uh, once you see oh, the thing, I, you can yeah, press I, I see they have they have the red uh, the red bar that shows like there. exactly. You ready? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go, go, go! Space, space, let's go! Nice! Nice! <laughs> yeah! I like so... the, little, the little stealth attacks. Mm -hmm. So, this basically takes away one point from all enemies at the start of combat. Nice. Makes it uh, much more manageable, makes it easier to stagger them right from the beginning. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have uh, our first yeah. game breaking Close bug? Alpha. Our first close alpha. Oh no! Uh, well, some bugs, but... unfortunately. What can you do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, that. Oh, that's at, least, it happens. at least now everyone knows this is super real, and we didn't give you a like a pre-tested seat <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. It happens. So, yeah. Alpha, alpha well, happens. Sometimes yeah. you run into soft locks. It's not a big deal. We can reset. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, a lot of the like skill interactions. Ed so broke it. Some hey Barry, you said <laughs> I die within the first ten minutes. I I, I didn't die, but the universe uh, tried. The universe killed me. I mean, we can just pretend that you died. Like, oh no, Ed. Oh no, all your monsters <laughs> got killed. But it's a rock fight. You can just start again. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, I I'll have to I have to close her up. That's okay. <laughs> oh wait, that was the wrong one. I almost closed my internet. Oh no, real yeah. one wants live it? stream bug report. Is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> world. Dum dum dum. It's a Power World collab, you know. <laughs> Yo. But what are you thinking so far? Oh, it's, it, I, I really like the animations, and I'm already feel like I'm getting used to the combat. Which, I mean, Monster Sanctuary. I whenever I talk about it, I always say it has one of my favorite combat systems. So it's no surprise this game does too. It does uh, by the way, I um, yeah. message our um, yeah, you loaded the game now. Let's see Wait. if that helps. Yeah, I still got my oh, whole team together. Oh. That's good. Yeah, maybe. Oh, the enemies have turned invisible. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, just go away, maybe. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Oh no. Not at all. Okay. Interesting. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see if it happens again. Hopefully not. I think it happened with Star Spawn, right? Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> All right. Awesome. We're back on the tracks. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think there are some similarities in the combat, but still a little, like not a little different. It still like also has its, its differences from the sanctuary. Sure. Oh no, no, yeah, for sure. Mm. I, I more so meant like uh, Monster Sanctuary has a well-designed combat system, so it's no surprise uh, your guys' next game does as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank I guess you. that's that's a big strength. <laughs> also, I really like Mandragora's hit animation. It's like, oh no, <laughs> but they, the boy got hit. <laughs> Oh, uh, this guy's dead. Yep. That's Warden, by the way. It's like the newest monster I think we have shown. <laughs> well, Carl already um, um, understood the situation. It's like good for you that it continues, but not so good for the devs because the bug isn't consistent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If it, it, if you can't replicate it easily, it's like, oh, how did that happen? I mean, Oof. they're all focusing on I my Tentacle Man. It's not nice. <laughs> no, not Tentacle Man. <laughs> <laughs> Anton, I wonder if you want to like, give some background on the world that Ifomans are placed in, or rather not, so far. Mm. How do you feel about the lore? Because I have some lore. questions that I wanted to like, answer in chat, but now I was wondering if we should just answer them. Um, are they asking about law? <laughs> yeah, no, so, someone someone asked about it. If it if it relates was, to Monster Sanctuary. 
No. Oh yeah, I, I didn't even see that. But like someone uh, else, said, there will be other yes. trainers standing behind NPC monsters, and I wanted to say no, it doesn't fit the world. No. And then I was thinking, hmm, do you want to say something about the world? Um, yeah, sure. So you play as an Ethermancer, as you can see. It's not a regular person. Looks kind of strange. <laughs> In fact, you're not actually a Hume. You're kind of this like um. I don't know how to describe it in a simple way, but just kind of like a different kind of being. Ethereal and being. This, uh, yeah, kind of like a serial, of course. Yeah, yeah, a serial. Yeah, very smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, you have the special ability to control monsters and try to guide them. Because the idea is that the monsters in this world are like doomed to this cycle of rebirth where they will just keep being reborn as monsters. Because they don't have the ability to know right from wrong. They're just like mindless things, basically. But you as the Evermancer can step in, uh, use them for good, basically. And that way, their souls earn worthiness, which is also a game mechanic, actually, in the game. Um, and like that means eventually they will be reborn as humans or other kinds of things, which are not monsters. So the idea is that you're also doing something good for the world itself, while battling enemy monsters with your own cool monsters <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's like just a very basic uh, dip into the lore so Let's yeah see how yeah it will be in the end uh there are no mens efer mensas versus efer mensa duels planned mm -hmm. because it's, it's it's just it's quite different yeah from story wise and uh we don't yeah. have many efer mensas running around with bonded monsters our Ephraimancer is special, you know? It's not like the other Ephraimancers. Yeah. <laughs> he really cares, be... or they really care. Mm. <laughs> you will be fighting other things, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. So, by the way, as you can see, Volbertinger has these extra actions, which are like the two on the right. And those are copied ones, like the ones that the enemies use, you can like use them once. And when you use them, you also like purge the same uh, like uh, ether that you use on it. So for example, if you use Fire Fang, it will destroy two of the fire ether from the enemies, oh. which is pretty useful if you see that an enemy needs the fire ether for one of its next actions, because then you can just basically cancel the action because they suddenly don't have the ether for it anymore, which is a pretty strong mechanic. So like that, because I used this earth ether, or did I do that right? I don't um, think I did that right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you staggered it. You staggered it. It's basically the same thing. But, like, it had two of Aoife, and its action cost one, so. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you need to make sure that they don't have enough Aoife to use the action anymore, basically. Right now, like, right now, it's planning something that costs three Earth. Uh, but, unfortunately, you don't have the Earth thing anymore. But in this situation, you could stop it from using its action. Yeah. If you Also, if you see an enemy. Like, preparing to do an action that costs 3 EFA, it's a good idea to try to focus it and try to kill it, because that's gonna hurt you probably. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you could use Fire Fang, maybe. That's a good idea, because it applies Psychic on your Wolfdinger, which will do some extra damage when you attack with another monster. If you try to attack it on with Spore... Hmm... Yeah, it might not be enough to kill it, but it will do some damage, definitely. Oh, almost. Yeah, it, it, it oh, did, Oh, yeah. that was enough, actually. Because it has, uh, I gave it a, while you guys were talking, I uh, gave it a mm. trait that uh, crits all of his sidekicks. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, that can do a lot of damage. <laughs> nice, nice. Good job. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> we all are. Ed is already impressive. I uh, see here. I thought I was gonna just start dying right off the <laughs> right off the bat, so uh, I'm I'm happy. Anton, we got a question about how much RNG we have in this game. Is there blind? Does sidekick have a percentage chance? Do you want to uh, say something to that, or should I answer? Oh uh, sure. Our design philosophy while we are developing the game, we went away from having too many percentage based kills or percentage based effects like in the beginning we had quite a lot of them but over time we just realized it didn't feel right for this kind of game because we wanted it to feel more like things are under the control of the player 
So instead of like having skills where it says, oh, for example, it could be if you do this and that, there's a 33% chance to do something good. Instead, uh, basically, oftentimes for skills, we're using like counters. Like, for example, it will instead have this thing where it's like, oh, every three times you do this, then this happens, mm. which makes it much more predictable. Like you know exactly when it's going to happen and you can build towards that. It's like essentially the same thing. It's just guaranteed instead of having like randomness to it. So like right now there are like very few skills actually that use the percentage based thing and like especially all of the like uh, ba uh, like all of the buffs and debuffs like poison and psychic they don't have percentages to them. They just do their effect. Like another thing is also that the buffs and debuffs a lot of them are like temporary. Like they do their thing and then they are gone, or at least you like remove one of the stacks. Like Psychic is pretty strong, but whenever it triggers, one of the stacks goes away. Like that's also another thing which we are using instead of uh, doing like percentage based stuff or things like that. Yeah. And I think uh, we haven't talked much about the level ups, right? Like how the traits are uh, picked, because people also always mm -hmm. have that. Or have you said that already to add? Um, I guess in the beginning I said something about the types and elements, but um, yeah, these random things that you're getting are based on what elements your monsters have and the three types. Like in the beginning, um, you saw what types each has, like um, a Star Spawn, for example, has Ether, Power, and Age, which um, like basically like each one of them corresponds to like a different set of skills, kind of like a kit, like that's, uh, if you want to compare it to like some other roguelite games, like um, Slay the Spire was kind of uh, inspiration where you have uh, often have like some cards that kind of belong together, they kind of like synergize very well with each other because they use kind of like similar mechanics. Like it's kind of like that basically. If you have like the poison type on a monster, it means that you will be able to get a lot of different poison skills with it. And it also means that there should be a pretty strong strategy revolving around poison. Like, it should pay off to try to build around it. Like, it's not just about applying poison, but there should also be skills that say, like, for example, oh, if the enemies have a lot of poison, you will do more damage to them, or you can do all kinds of other stuff. And, um, yeah, also, like, some skills that, like, play around with the mechanics and kind of change how they work. Like, one of my favorite skills is called Incubation, and it straight up says that poison no longer triggers at the start of each turn, but poison damage is doubled. Like, you see that, and you just have no idea, like, why would anyone pick this? It makes no sense. But once you get to know the deeper mechanics, it's actually, like, an extremely strong skill, because it's basically there are, like, other skills which let you trigger poison on command, and Together with these skills, is like really kind of bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Any I'm still here. From the chat? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I uh, just uh, chilling. I I misclicked and hit the wrong guy with the wrong attack, but we're still good. Uh oh. Did you notice that like your Eva Mensa can do stuff as well? Oh like, yeah, good point. Like what? <laughs> that's actually, I mean, that's actually one of the uh, special things, right? That our protagonist like mm -hmm. act, can act in combat. Um, you can also see like uh, the little face of the Evermancer on the left. Uh, oh yeah. Bottom mm -hmm. of the corner. Um, the idea is that the different classes of Evermancers that will be like unlockable can have different ways oh. of influencing the combat. So this is like a very, very, very basic yet. So far, it's just only using items, only. You know, air quotes. So, so, so you uh, guys, you you guys are are inspired by Dark Souls again. I can see the monster <laughs> class. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Damn, uh, the material good. design, sure. <laughs> like basically, we have consumable items, but um, we call them artifacts because they always have like an amount of charges, which mm. means that they never actually go away. Because uh, whenever you finish like one of the areas or biomes in this game. Uh, you will get back all of the charges and all of your artifacts, which means that, um, yeah, they're not really consumable. Like, they only gone for this area, oh, okay. but they come back periodically, basically. So you should feel encouraged to use them whenever you actually need them. And, um, yeah, there's quite a lot of um, 
quite a few of these artifacts that you can get already in the game. Yeah. We have a lot of cool class ideas. I got a question now in the comments since I mentioned it. But uh, I don't think we should share them so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we have concepts <laughs> and we have really, really cool ideas how they could like make the game, well, let's say, uh -huh. be played very differently. But we don't want True. to share too much yet because we haven't work started working on them yet except for like the conception phase, like brainstorming, you know. And um, mm. so many things can change, man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, just a small tip. You can also you, like bring up the tooltip in Comet, by the way, if you're ever wondering uh, about what an action does again. Oh, is that just with the um, IT? Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, the player classes. A um, lot of crazy stuff going on there. <laughs> <laughs> that we can't really talk about yet. Yeah, game development takes time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Listen, we're we're just glad that we managed to get the close alpha in time, like ready for players to actually play it and not be completely broken. <laughs> well, I I think a lot of us uh, monster taming fans are just happy that you guys are making another monster taming game. Because so, 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 some devs will make a uh, game, but then they'll go to a different genre, right? So so when I found out you guys are making another Monster Taming game after Monster Sanctuary, I was like, okay, good. <laughs> Very happy to hear that. Uh -oh. It's just so much to play around, right? With all the different skills. Yeah. It's so cool. And then you have a lot of like these different designs and ideas for... Mm -hmm. We yeah, always have fun. we always have like these brainstorming um, meetings together with the artists and like everyone can join in the team if they want not even if they're not mm -hmm. like working on art or anything yeah and they can just brainstorm ideas for how monsters could look and it's always a lot of fun and seeing the whole pro process and then of course the game design side like Anton also is always like doing workshops and <laughs> and bouncing ideas back and forth with hours in the mm -hmm. team yeah. I think this has already been mentioned in the past, but are you guys planning on doing any uh, monsters returning from Monster Sanctuary? Ooh. Hmm, you wouldn't you like to know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if I tell That'd you now, so it could funny, be an Easter egg, think? right? <laughs> <laughs> we have such a different style at Eva Mentor, so can you really imagine like a Katsuraka or like a Blob or something yeah. like that? That'd be crazy, right? Hmm, it depends on the monster, but, but so, so, so for example, I know you guys had uh, the crossover with uh, Cyrilum, uh mm, with the, the Vertag, right? So I don't know, I feel, like, I, I, I feel like, you know, with some design element changes, it could work. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> like, turn them into, like, the Aoife Mensa style. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, um, I hope that comes across, actually, that we are trying to go a bit more like a... Uh, yeah, like a different style, but also kind of like a more cohesive uh, direction overall with the monsters. Mm. Like they're all kind of more like realistic and like we're not afraid of even like making them kind of a little bit like um, ugly. Some of them kind of in a, like a kind of like a um, how do you say like like in, a, in an adorable way, like a little goblin, for example. If yeah. you think about like a goblin, you know. Like my my wife Actually, says uh, my much. wife says uh, pugs <laughs> are really ugly in a cute way. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty fitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, like... I, I didn't notice that you are the champion fight already. Ooh. I was gonna oh, say yeah, this, this guy hard, seems actually. pretty strong. Uh, it's a good thing I had that explosion <laughs> attack because I just knocked out all his poise. Yeah. The champion monsters are like the real challenge, obviously. Uh. Someone asking if there will be alternate versions of monsters, but why would you mm. want alternate versions? Look at them, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just well, kidding. I can I can tell you we're not gonna have like uh, skins yeah. as like microtransactions or anything like that. <laughs> just as a, like a little joke. 199 and your monster gets plus 10 attack and uh gets a sword <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and it gets to have a cool hat yeah <laughs> <laughs> i would actually pay for a hat <laughs> <laughs> oh this guy got his poise back who do you think you are oh yeah the 
Champions kind of have special rules. They get to get their poise back after some time. But that just means you can stagger them all over again. That's okay. <laughs> I feel like it's super brave, Ed, that you're playing this on stream because it gives me the feeling of like us playing a, like a board game, for example, together, and we didn't explain you all the rules, but we already like let you play, and then whenever <laughs> something happens, we're like, oh yeah, actually, that's like a special rule. <laughs> you know what? Whenever I play a game for the first time, like in a Let's Play, I, it, I, it's, it might as well be a stream because I don't edit them. I give my like raw first oh, really? reaction. Oh yeah, I, I don't, I don't. Oh, nice. I, yeah, a lot of YouTubers will play it first and then act like it's their first. No, I don't do that. I just play it, yep. right? So I'll, I'll get comments from like neckbeards that are like, "Oh, I would have been so much better at this game than you." I'm like, "Yeah, okay, good, good, good for you. <laughs> good for you, buddy." Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm happy. I'm, right. I'm happy that's your right. best achievement in life. Thankfully, this is not a competition. It's about fun. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I do. I, I, I've. D just go watch my first episode of Pal World, and uh, <laughs> you'll know that I don't, I, I don't, uh, I don't pre-play my games. I just go into it. Uh -huh. Purges. What does a purge do? Destroys enemy uh -huh. aether. Prioritizing aether that enemies. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Let's, let's yeah, exactly. So it will try to like uh, cancel the action, but in this case, the enemy champion has quite a bit. Well, actually, that was enough because it was yeah, because he was going to use the same attack as me just now. That mm -hmm. green one. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, that's always like a really nice move for it. But putting a, oh, you want to do that? Let me do it first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get rid of your ether. Uh, oh, yeah. that won't work. It only takes one. Okay. Mm. That's okay. Yeah, it has quite a lot of ether now. Yeah, like the purging is pretty powerful, but like, um, it's kind of built in that you can't just keep doing it because whenever an enemy uses a basic attack, or like also for your own monsters, whenever mm. you use a basic attack, you generate ether. So when you purge an enemy's uh, ether and like make them stop the action, they will revert to just doing a basic attack, which does like way less damage, of course. That's the whole idea. Yeah. But it also generates ether for them. So that, that means in the next turn they have like way more of it. It's like a natural way to yeah. kind of offset that. Oof. Oh, by the way, uh, that uh, Warden just used like a retaliate uh, uh, action, which means that uh, until its next turn, whenever you deal damage to it, it will do like a counter attack against you, just to let you know. Oh, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's already down to 96 health. Um, I think uh, this looks doable, I would say. Nice. Oh, yeah, you can actually see what the action does, because you can see it with Volvetting now, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, later on we will implement, like, an inspect feature where you can actually see uh, this kind of stuff in combat, like, uh, what the enemies have exactly, like, their, like this retaliate thing which I explained to you. Um, but for now, that's not implemented yet, unfortunately. Yeah, it takes time. Mm -hmm. We already have so much. We are very proud actually about the monsters because we did some mm. rework. No one knew because yes. it's like an internal rework. <laughs> but we basically wanted to make every monster feel completely different. Mm. Like more, more, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. Know. Exactly. Like we've been doing like like uh, these like design workshops like uh, Glina said for like every single monster basically trying to come up with like fun synergies and combos and like signature traits like how to make each monster unique from each other um yeah that was like one of the big things which we started like um i think like september or october of last year already yeah no wasn't it even er, yeah i think october yeah it's already been such a long time actually and like since <laughs> then we have like reworked and changed like almost every single skill in the game actually which is kind of nuts <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's also why we like currently not have as many monsters in the alpha yeah. playable as we would actually have the the assets for like the art assets because exactly. this whole like rework um takes quite some time yeah we but it just makes it like more exciting to actually like yeah. get to those monsters <laughs> yeah they're like we treat them like unique beings like they deserve to be treated <laughs> yeah we really want uh, each monster to feel like its own character like if you think about um games like like other roguelite games where you can choose from like different playable characters like 
Griftlands or Darkest Dungeon also has these different player classes or um, Slate is fire of course like we want each monster to feel as cool and as like memorable basically Ooh, down to 35 health <laughs> I'm not letting him use his attacks on me <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I keep screwing up screwing up his yeah uh, yeah yeah his, <laughs> his attacks yeah that's why Evolver Thing is such a nice monster honestly I have to say it's really awesome to see you play. I saw someone in my comments talking some talking some trash. <laughs> Where where'd you go, Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> YouTube keep telling me, oh now's a great time to insert ads in the middle of your stream. Like nobody wants to watch that oh, in the really? middle of the stream. I didn't even know you could do that, but YouTube keeps like spamming them at me. Oh, he almost got my boy. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, my child. Oof! Oh, oh no! <laughs> damn, 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 damn. That's that rough. hurt, huh? Yeah. But come on, you got this. He's dead. Bro. That's the hard thing in the monster taming roguelite. Right? It's like permadeath. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> well, as I said, rebirth, but the monster mm -hmm. will be very different. Yeah, but that's pretty much like one of the core things that we are like trying to sell with this game. That you have these like um it feels bad of course these moments but it makes for interesting runs and interesting stories kind of like a nuzlocke run in pokemon that's like one of the like big inspirations kind of yeah that you get attached to these monsters and you try to build like a team around them and then suddenly one of them dies that's <laughs> what happens <laughs> Isn't but that you can get a new monster actually in the next uh, little area that you go to i thought i like bought get... i could have sworn mm. i bought an item off so, off one of these guys hmm? uh we don't have an inventory yet so, oh uh... okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would explain that i i could have sworn i bought an item that said something about rebirth or something uh yeah yeah you can use it uh now in the rest side like this is the uh, like a little like chill area that you get to after every completed area like that was basically oh, okay. like one full area or biome and now you can uh, rebirth a new monster basically yo look at this guy Ooh, Orthos <laughs> is pretty fun. Although I do need somebody who can, mm. he can't heal, though. I needed a healer. Mm -hmm. Well, Ooh starts with, like, a healing action, actually. And it does have the tank type, so it can uh, serve kind of in our support role, I would say. I'll take him. Hmm. Safeguard is not bad. Quasi with some shield at the end of each round, yeah. You can try to turn Ooze maybe into a tank to protect your other monsters. Yeah, that's the that's the idea here. That's what I did with mm -hmm. uh, Monster Sanctuary. I made sure to always. Oh, have oh like don't a... go, don't go there yet. Uh, yeah, eat your meal. <laughs> <laughs> you can also go to the merchant actually, because if you leave, you like uh, you're going to the next area. Yeah, you can buy one of these artifacts actually, like these two lower items, shielding dust and void crystal. Mm. These are um, some Ooh. of these artifacts that I've told you about that you can use during combat to um, do some stuff. I'll take this one. Yeah, sure. Sure, the shielding dust, shielding dust is pretty good. All right, so yeah, this is basically the second area. It looks the same as first, because <laughs> it is basically. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we implemented like two tiers of pilgrimage path for now. Like now, basically, you're gonna fight uh, tougher versions of the enemies. Um, and yeah, the challenge right now is to try to get through both tiers because at the end of this one, you will fight a pretty tough champion, even tougher than the first one. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you want, you can keep going. Oh, yeah, as I said before, uh, it is planned that the second area is a different area, actually. It's yeah, exactly, exactly. Same one, but like with harder. Yeah, just imagine that all of this would look like way different and there's like. <laughs> Can Monster you imagine stuff. that? <laughs> <laughs> like that's the idea that like uh, whenever you defeat one of these champions or like one of these bosses that you get to a new biome with different environments and different monsters also so you can uh, collect different monsters of course in each area and also fight against them and each one has like the unique stuff going on with the signature traits and all that stuff here. Yeah, this is a free action, by the way, that, which means that uh, you can use it without spending the monster's turn. 
So you can still also use like a regular action, which is pretty neat. So, uh, Anton, I've got a question some time ago about a Maverick trades. I don't know if you want to give like a short. Oh, sure. For that. Sure. Maverick trades are basically skills that are a bit different from the regular ones. Like, usually each one of the skills corresponds to one of the types that I've talked about, like poison, tank, uh, power, whatever. But the Maverick skills are instead like. Uh, combo types like they always combine two different types somehow and the rule for them is basically that you need to have both types of them uh, present among the monsters in your team so the idea is that oftentimes these uh, maverick skills enable new interactions and strategies between your monsters like even if your monsters actually don't share any types you can still build up pretty interesting and powerful teams that way. Like, we don't want it to feel like, okay, you have like a monster with poison. If, if you want to build like a cool poison team, you need to pick two other monsters that have poison in them. Like, yeah. that'd be kind of boring. Like, it would limit the game so much. Like, this way it's quite open, actually, how you can build teams and build monsters. Yeah, I think that will be exciting. Mm hmm. Yeah, the enemy is also definitely quite a bit tougher now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, too. I'm not letting <laughs> any of them attack. Nice. Doesn't yeah, it feel nice. great when you are able to yeah. see the figure? <laughs> yeah, the other thing is really so fun. Powerful. I really like the signature trait. Like getting not only getting to use your enemies' actions against them, but also like taking away the ether on top of that. Yeah. It's like, like no, you you're not allowed to attack. <laughs> So, the giveaway has ended, by the way. Mm. How many people were there? How many people uh, put the... 140? Not... Oh, well, neat. Yeah. I think I could, like, also um, pull the winner live during winner's live during stream and announce them. If you would be cool with that, Ed. Sorry, sorry, say again. I was... Uh... I was, I was focused. I was in the zone. No, it's good. It's good that you're focused. I was saying I can I can uh, pull the winners live from. Oh the yeah, yeah, for sure. For even sure. announce them if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, for I sure. Go to for it. I'll distract you. But apparently, I did. By asking. Yeah, no, for sure. Go for it. Okay. Um, before I actually announce the winners, everyone who did not win uh, Alpha X says, don't be sad, okay? Because, yeah, don't be uh... sad because you suck. <laughs> 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 and 10 people left the stream. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you'll, see, you'll see it on uh, IGN tomorrow. Uh, YouTuber gets cancelled. <laughs> YouTuber starts, <laughs> starts insulting his own audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> no but i wanted to say that like um we're working on it on the demo uh, a lot and like it's only a matter of time until everyone can play the game and um also you've seen it we had a soft log it's not that much fun <laughs> nah i'm just kidding it's fun <laughs> okay. hey what's up nazir hope you're doing well all right, sorry chat, I was away for a little bit, but we'll be coming back to your questions now. I just want to announce the winners real quick. We have five winners. Okay, username one is PH1L. Yeah, I think it's like Phil, hmm. but he replaced the I with oh, I one. See. That's genius, who deserved to test the spot. <laughs> Second one is Spooky Cupid. Number three is Dark Crab. I appreciate that. We have a crab monster that yeah. is actually amazing, so <laughs> you deserve to be here as well. We have SIRC9508, sounds like a machine, okay, if you're a bot, 
we will just do another one. And Lovely Grassy Rock with 2k. Congratulations, guys. You won Alpha Access. And, um, well, I will contact you on Discord via direct message as soon as possible after our little stream. Oh, uh, you gotta smash those crates, by the way. Oh, of you course. You can sometimes get gold from them. Like, it's kind of hard to see. Like, sometimes you get this, like, little plus one gold. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I've you're noticed. getting gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go. Get out of here. It's like I'm fighting my fallen co comrade right now. <laughs> <laughs> we need some like sad music, Steven, if you're still around in the <laughs> <laughs> Like the uh the Naruto music, like when he's by the swing set. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I want to make a video like that. <laughs> 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 Potato Man back from the grave for revenge on Ed. <laughs> That's so true. Also, it's Potato Man now. It was Potato Boy. Well, okay. boys turn to men. Cool that you. <laughs> yeah, right. Cool that you put in. Still playing the alpha. You're definitely getting the hang of it. I think I, I think we're getting there a little bit. Like I don't think I'm a pro or anything, but I, I'm not a uh, I'm not getting killed. <laughs> so that's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> You're not doing so bad, definitely. <laughs> there goes your attack, buddy. Charging is fun. Oh yeah, I gave him age, so he does that now. Yeah, age is one of the buffs we have currently. There will be more added with more monsters. It's an iterative process. Ah, oh, I took the wrong one. That's okay. <laughs> Potato boy whipping the shit out of everyone. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I should, you know, I, I should have probably healed my uh, tentacle guy. He's kind of low. Oh. Okay. Going for the ooze instead. Yeah, also don't forget about your artifacts. Like the player items. Yeah, the, the flask and stuff. Yeah, so I, I should have done that last turn. Yeah, they can definitely help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As I said, like uh, once you're done with an area, you get back all of the charges. That definitely helps with hoarding, right? Ooh, you can use that. the star beam. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to see if I had a. So cool. I wanted to see if I had a fire attack to knock down the poise first, but I don't. But, so I'm just gonna but, do it, but it does fire damage. It's uh, wild damage. It does everything. Oh, see? that's right. You're right. Look at that. Oh, let's there go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get out of here. <laughs> nice so work. <laughs> well done. Yay. Yeah, star spawn is definitely one of the favorites. Right now, like, all-time favorites. 
<laughs> I don't know, I think you're biased. You keep saying <laughs> nice things about Star Spawn. <laughs> it is pretty fun. Day. I mean, it, it, it's a reoccurring character in a lot of movies, a lot of anime movies. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Bandit, if you're still in the chat, you know all about that, right, buddy? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> So if my party is full, can I not grab them, or they just go to like the box or something? Uh, for now, <laughs> it's not possible to do anything uh, with these monsters. For like, that's something that we are working on, though. So oh, okay. That you can still um, like get new monsters, replace your current ones, and stuff like that. That's unfortunately not possible right now. That's like cool. the only way, if you if you really wanted to replace one of your monsters, the only way to do it right now is to, to like kill it. Kill it. <laughs> yeah, like try to like get it killed by the enemies which is yeah it's just how it is unfortunately right now i mean first I walk... Alpha and all that. <laughs> barry writes i walk away for a sec yeah that's right we know what you were walking away to do shame <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah you were definitely the right choice for the street <laughs> yeah I mean, didn't didn't we already get some people asking if it would be possible to romance the monsters? Oh and no! Stuff like oh yeah, that? there there are some <laughs> monsters that are pretty um, liked. Yeah, for sure. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! That that's one side of of the monster taming community that I do not want to <laughs> hang out <Yeah>. with. <laughs> Wasn't there like this one monster where like people yeah. were saying wood and like you weren't aware yeah. what that means <laughs> actually? No, funny. I was aware what it means, oh, but right. I, didn't know, okay. I didn't understand why. But it's because it was Nosferatu, it was like this bad uh, oh no. <laughs> monster. But the thing was, what I understood after watching the video oh, multiple know. times is that the attack animation was just <laughs> very, um, well, let's say, uh, no. I will not comment any further on this. <laughs> Go oh, watch I thought the video. it was just because uh, of Twilight, you know, people just love vampires. <laughs> nah, I think it was because of the attack animation, because it like it rips the enemy. So like the hand movement, can you imagine it? <laughs> but <laughs> the well, yeah, I will not go to deep into this. <laughs> I will leave the rest to the audience. I think we're gonna get a whole new audience after the stream. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I made one video as a joke covering like some hentai game. I didn't actually like show anything. Oh my gosh. But it was like they had a Kickstarter and a lot of the premises was really funny. So I made a video just just made like like you know, like like oh it's funny, haha, ha, right? And people got so upset and not for the reason you think. They, they weren't upset because they're like, Oh, you're covering this inappropriate game. No, they got upset because I made a I made jokes about it. They're like, How dare you make fun of of, of these types of games blah 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 like <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh <laughs> i had so many uh -oh. mad people in my comments oh you're taking quite some damage by the way oh, oh no! my gosh your star spawn no the poison oh he Oof. did Oof. Oof, that is so sad actually i swear he was at like full health before that that exchange started or close to it he got smacked oh That's oh okay. i took some damage i took some damage Damn. But, uh, it's not over yet. You can still add a new monster after this fight. Yeah, I still got that, uh, we were just talking about that. Unfortunately, that was my ace, but, eh, we'll figure it out. Mm. Yeah, you needed, like, a good new damage dealer, definitely. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the enemies are getting tougher now, definitely. Make a double is a nice trait, definitely. That's what I was thinking, because I already have the thing there. Yeah, to... problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you would do like two crits with the with yeah. sidekick, right? That's pretty powerful, because it also does like extra poise damage when you do a critical hit. Mm. And, uh, yeah, oh yeah, by the way, important note, um, uh, the element of the sidekick uh, hits is based on the elements of the monster, like, for oh, Wolbertinger, okay. because it's water and wind. The sidekick from it will do water and wind damage. <laughs> and now you're doing two hits with sidekick, so that's two poise damage. And both will be critical, which means they both will do extra poise damage. Which means they will do four water, wind, like, hits or poise damage at once. Oh, okay. Which is kind of nuts, actually. Like, 
with that, you should be able to just like stagger like half of the monsters pretty easily, like anything that has water or wind wind weakness. That's just breaking the game, but in a good mm -hmm. way. Yeah, I think Orthrus might be a good fit. Oh, I love like, Orthrus. Yeah, Orthrus also has sidekick synergies. Tatsuvrum is good for like a poison team. Actually, you have Ooze, right? Well, that could also make sense, because Ooze does poison, Tatsuvrum does poison. Both could be decent choices, I would say. I like how the double, I like how the two-headed dog looks, though. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Orthrus is a really strong monster, I would say. Yeah, increases damage of each hit by one, and then uh, triggers uh, after any. Yeah, so it has uh, that too. Yeah, yeah. It oh, heals okay. and it gets um, power basically. One like the whole gimmick with heals. it is, uh, hmm. yeah. <laughs> one head heals, one head attacks, kind of idea. Um, but yeah, the whole um, gimmick with it is meant to be that you need to get a sidekick on it, like. For the first attack that it does each turn, you get like a heal, and if you manage to get, like, if you manage to do two attacks with Orpheus in the same turn, you get to uh, get like a power stack on it, which is pretty powerful. And like one way of doing that is with sidekick. See how this goes. Sidekick. <laughs> okay, but like you can. Uh... <laughs> Rilvenar says the chat distracted you for one second. Look what happens. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I blame it on the chat. It's chat's fault. <laughs> I mean, they cannot speak against us, right? We can just ignore them, so it makes <laughs> sense to blame it on them. <laughs> Someone asked how long will this stream be going for? Well, let's see how long Ed can survive. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I guess uh, one way or another, you could also beat the second boss. That's also uh, one way of like ending the stream, I guess. Well, like look at it. Look at it this run. way. I was predicted to last ten minutes without, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I and I and I, I made it past that. So so this is a win. I don't, if I lose against the next mod, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I still win. No. Go. Fight them. I know. Oh. Don't worry, you're ready Don't be for scared. it. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Bam! <laughs> All right. You pet the dog. Well, that's a, a question that was bound to come before for soon. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Chet's fault for why you suck at video games, Ed? Why don't you want to comment on that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't forget about the sidekick stuff going on with uh, Vulpatinga and Orphrus. Like, as I said, you can do like a ton of poise damage if you do, if you get like sidekick on Vulpatinga, like with uh, Bubble Trick, and then follow it up with an attack from another monster. Because the way sidekick works is, um, whenever, now like whenever you attack with one of the other monsters, you mm. will have Vulpatinga doing the sidekick thing, like on the same enemy. It's so like, yeah, like this, right? And then the other guy is going to do it too. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, you did it against the enemy Volvatinger, which has Earth Weakness. Like, it would have been effective against the Orphrus to do the water. Uh, yeah, it was damage, stupid. No worries. Oh, no, no well, uh, no, no worries, oh, I was not, looking not at their poise, at their poise thing. This, they're both green, right? Um... Is it green? Oh, I'm colorblind. Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah, a green wood. Uh, that's wind. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like Walter thing, I does uh, water and wind. Oh, does it? For some reason, I thought it was. I thought it yeah, was because uh, uh, no, no, it's uh, because each one ha monster has two elements. That's the thing. Like, um, like the attack itself does water damage, but the sidekick damage is based on. Oh, the that's two right. That's of the right. Monster. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. You said that already. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I might want to do something to this. Yeah, guy. But also do wind trying damage. Trying to do something yeah. crazy here. <laughs> but now the sidekick is gone, by the way. It only lasts for one attack. Oh, okay. So it should be. Yeah, otherwise now. it would be too powerful. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oof, me scared, that enemy me offers. scared. I would, I would actually use the shielding thing maybe because there's some. That's like a really powerful attack heading your way. That that thing costs five if I'm scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're no. scared, but I'm scared. And I am yeah, now too. I'll try to... But I, uh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, you can kill the voting, I guess, but... Trying to get rid of him while I can, because I know I'm not killing mm -hmm. that, that other guy. 
That's sir, that's sir. Oof, oof. Okay, not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Oh my god! Oh no, it's like going to really risky targets. Yeah, those enemy off forces are also doing sidekick. You have a pack of wolves here. Damn. Come there, leave dead. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I need to stagger one of those at least somehow. And I'm not sure how actually. Um, oh, stealing this couldn't be useful. You can use that to cancel the, uh, the, like, the lower off forces action. Because it will, like, whenever you use, like, an action like this against an enemy, it will try to take away the ether that that specific enemy needs. Like, if you use it against this Orphrus, like, this one. The blue it one? It will take out, no, no, the red one, the red one. Like, red, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It will okay, take okay, away yeah, the fire ether, see? So, now the, its action got cancelled, which will help you, definitely. Yeah. Oh, you got this powerful action also, actually. Come on, Rush, what does it do, actually? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, and it'll oh. give me sidekick, sidekick as well. Hmm. True. It will do uh, quite a bit of damage, definitely. I love well, you can do... animation. Oh yeah, do... Uh, no, wait. They have wind weakness, right? <laughs> I keep thinking that's like a blue icon. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have I'm to... looking at like the little oh. screen in Discord, which somehow makes me colorblind. <laughs> Leave my guy alone. He didn't do anything to you. <laughs> Finally, here. Take that. Go away. Get in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just so much fun to also see your ah! monsters like, doing the sidekick. Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it sh should be done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Damn. That, that was scary. Bevel a big fight. <laughs> but you managed it really well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, at round start, generate one ether. Cool. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so now you had the choice between two elements. Like, these things are called ether springs, by the way. These are like, um, uh, like interactable objects that you find during the exploration, which um, give you these boons, which are like these kind of like party wide global buffs that will last until the end of the run. So that's like one of the, like, things that let you make a decision that will um, have an impact for like the whole run. Mm. Oh, the hourglass of undoing is definitely a good not good item. Let's you do another heal for all of your monsters and also lets you cleanse some of the corruption. You can even get the deck of cards if you want actually. Triggers, it's not bad. Let's uh, throw... All of your monsters on the Aether Mancer? Wait, wait, what? Consumes all of your Aether. Mm. Then... Um, triggers aether generation on all of your mod what does that mean <laughs> um basically like uh every round your monsters generate ether mm. like what ha what happens with this thing is like it does it again basically it's kind of like shuffling the deck and drawing oh, new okay. cards again that, that's I kind of the you. idea of it that you that like take away all of your ether but then you like generate like a, a new a new, new thing yeah yeah okay. You can kind of use it in like a smart way, like you can use two actions for your monsters, so like when you're like at zero or like really low ether anyway, and then use the item to like consume your ether that's left and just like generate a whole bunch of new ether. Mm. It is still random of course, you don't know what you're gonna get, but you have a chance of getting what you need, definitely. How is he able to use that attack if he doesn't have any earth ether? Um... Who? The the plant. They have plant. too. 
Oh, you Did know what? Jordan? I'm dumb. I was looking at it. I was looking at the right of it. The right number? That's yeah. fire. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, worries, stupid. No okay, um. Oh, I wouldn't go Okay, that so I'm gonna, do, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it to him then. Uh, you can do it to Volpating, actually. Yeah, oh. get out of here. Nothing. I should have probably done it to the other guy to be real, but it's okay. Mm hmm. Do you have a favorite monster already, Ed? I really liked my tentacle guy. <laughs> he was <laughs> no, pretty OP. Yeah, a good time. Why did I ask? <laughs> I'm in the... mourning. <laughs> here's the nice thing. Like, if you do another run, you can play with uh, your tentacle thing again. <laughs> and it will have the braviness progression. <laughs> like, however much you get, had. Like, you didn't get to the second braviness level yet, where you will, you would get, like, a new perk for your monster. Oh, okay. But, um... Like, you had, like, a good amount of, like, um, progress already, like, maybe, like, half or more than half already. Mm. Like, that's will save and carry over, basically, to the next run. That's, like, oh, one okay. of the big ideas. And, yeah. We will also add more meta progression features over time to the game, of course. Where you can get different kinds of upgrades. And unlock new stuff and new features. Ooh, that enemy warden is playing like a big attack, by the way. Oh yeah. Can you? Oh, you can. You can stop him though. Yeah, all I have to do is if it takes the green, uh, he's. Yeah, yeah, it's will, it's will. Like uh, the stealing and purging is based on an algorithm. It's not random actually. Oh like, yeah, there's you're no, saying, there's yeah. no preview for it right now, but that's one of the things that we will definitely try to add. That you can actually already see which Efa is going to be. Like it, it, it looks at like what Efa you can uh, take away to stop the enemy's action. Mm. So it's fairly predictable, actually. It's just we don't have the preview yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I would maybe use one of the items, by the way, just to be safe, maybe. The yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot this. Uh, this isn't. I still have one more charge in this. I uh, like the hourglass because it removes corruption also, which is always not bad. Because, like, that will just, like, help your monsters out in the long run as well. I could also... I should have probably done this one first because it would have given me sidekick right away. Uh, well, the sidekick would carry you over to the next turn, of course. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my Nagura does tend to be healing. He's he's trying he's trying to do this again, man. Well, who do you think you are? Oof. But you can stop him <laughs> again. <laughs> he didn't learn his lesson. <laughs> yeah, that action, by the way, is pretty nice. That uh, stealing dust, where you can just like steal an enemy Eva as a free action. Pretty strong. I love Volpetting as cast animation. It's I think Volpetting is such a cute monster. <laughs> true, true. Oh no, you don't have the Eva. No, wait, oh. you already acted. Already. That enemy Mandagora is gonna use a healing action, by the way. All of these know. all of these reset when I go to the next area, you were saying, right? Um, yeah, after you beat, like, the next champion, that's the... That oh, okay. Marks the end of an area. Okay. I'll, like, say, I'll um, save some of it then. Yeah, I see him trying to heal over there. What a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me of that's that meme. <laughs> Boss heals once. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? <laughs> no. Oof. Oof. That enemy warden also hits pretty hard. Yeah. He's Ooh, so it's much It's gonna try hard. it again. It's gonna try it again. Not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> but that, the enemy when I go is also planning something devious. I would try to stop him as well. Oh. I think. Oh oh. I think if a Mensa PvP would be so frustrating. Oh, <laughs> so I, I think you should probably. 
the shielding thus might help you out. Because the enemy Managora is also gonna do something nasty. Oh yeah, I got no more fire left. Yeah. Oof. Oh, but he can heal actually. Uh, at least one of them, your monsters. Damn. Well, I hope it's exciting for our viewers. We have some real um, life and death situations here. <laughs> <laughs> Pollen Pollen blast. blast. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. That does like a ton of damage as well as three weakness stacks. So the next, which, like, the way weakness works, it will basically make the next three hits from your offers deal like almost no damage, like it reduces the base damage to one. Oh, okay. Just so you know. But it will still do like poise damage, which is important. Hmm. Oh, damn, you have like no fire either, damn. Yeah, you I'm, could I'm like, your I was thinking about trying the deck of cards and see what, what it does. Yeah. <laughs> Still no oh, fire. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't oh, even no. have enough for this. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. This looks quite tough. Oh no. And now you can't like use your other artifacts because uh, I don't know if I mentioned that you can only use one artifact per turn. By the way. <laughs> Again, the situation where we're playing a game but didn't. <laughs> oh, all oh the rules. healing slime! You might have to use a healing slime. The only it's thing is, like, it poisons my heal. guys too, right? Yeah, but like the amount of healing you're getting is like makes it worthwhile. Like okay. it's quite a bit because like each poison stack only does like one damage basically, so it's only oh, okay. gonna do like two damage to your monsters next turn, which is not too bad. All right, let's see. Oof, gemstone crash. Oh, wow, that's yeah, just yeah. a lot. No, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. We're still in the game. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Slime, slime's uh, almost who's dead. Who's is building up so much poison on itself <laughs> because of its signature trait? That's Damn. You don't believe in you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, fire ether, that's all you need. You can definitely stagger both of these. I don't know. If you play your cards I, right. I think I'm going to try to do him for... I don't know. He's not doing anything threatening. He is. Well, but you have the side like, uh, I don't know if Anton said that, but like, if you stagger an enemy, he probably said that. Like, they now you can uh, damage, right? attack Manabua and it will trigger the sidekick on it from Offers. So you can stagger Manabua as well. Just oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, wait, no, I don't, have, I don't have fire to Basically. stagger him. No, no, you have the sidekick stack on Offers. I gotcha. If yeah, you do I gotcha. like, any attack against oh, Managora, yeah. it will trigger True. the sidekick attack. Does it still work That's with stealing? It. Would it still work with stealing? Well, I guess I don't need that anyway. Uh, okay. No, because it's not an attack. You have to do an attack. But you can still use uh, stealing dust because it's a free action. Which yeah. means that you can still use a regular action afterwards. Like, you can basically use stealing dust in most turns. Yeah, I, I just I just lose my uh, some of my ether, which I don't want to do right now. Yeah, but you also get one Aoife back, since you're stealing the Aoife. That's true. Like, you pay two, but you get one, and you also take away one from an enemy. Eh, why not? <laughs> I don't think it worked out that well. That's fine. Yeah, Just die. Yeah. Now the bubble trick. And the sidekick. There nice. you go. Nice. Dagger. Yeah. I mean, you're getting there slowly, slow and steady. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that definitely got you some um, wiggle room or like some space to breathe, or how, how you say. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, this will kill him. Yeah. The enemy warden says quite a bit of health, but maybe you can do it here yeah, with the sidekick first. Yeah, give him Ooh, yeah. sidekick big and then. Damage, big damage. Hell and yeah, then if I hit yeah. with the ooze, I should get another sidekick, right? Um, From the wall? Oh yeah, because yeah, I just sidekick gave him the sidekick yeah. ability, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Woo. There you go. Woo. I was getting scary. That wasn't even a boss, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Man, and the people in the chat did not believe in you. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. 
So once I go through here, do do all my stuff mm -hmm. refresh? No. Okay, because no, it's only when you beat not the at the end of the area. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like that's basically like gonna be. Uh oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, you got okay. <laughs> Almost got stuff locked again. <laughs> like, this is like the last kind of like little sub zone, I think. At the end of this, you will have a fight against the champion. That will be the end of the uh, run, basically. It'll one be the end of the another. run one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Whether I win or lose is the real question. I don't know. Oof. And the enemies are also a bit tougher again, I think. Now the question becomes, do I just want to go straight for the boss, or do I want to fight them? You mean, so you don't die on the way already? And yeah. you don't get more corruption? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Why not? rough while to think about. Um, you do lose out on XP, but, though. Yeah, if you do one more fight, you will get an, a level up on Ooze and Orphurus. Like, on the bottom left, you can uh, see the XP bars for all of your yeah. monsters. Yeah, like, so... Um, you need just like one more XP for Ooze and Orphrus. And like Damn, these guys are both level one. 5 though. That's not even, yep. that's not yep. even fair. I'm not even, I'm only level 4. Level 3. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. They're like, that's... we've come to the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, Let's that see. tends to happen if you get some deaths in your monster party. Like whenever you revive monsters, they are like on a slightly lower level. So <laughs> if ah! you get ah, monsters, you get ambushed. You will unfortunately end up with kind of like an underleveled party. <laughs> all right well i i was trying to avoid a fight but see what we can do yeah. all i have is the deck of cards i don't have any special heals don't forget about the stealing dust <laughs> him stealing dust carrying the whole game <laughs> <laughs> you just stopped like a pretty powerful action of me Always missing that fire ether, huh? <laughs> mm. You could also use like a basic attack with ooze. That yeah, would generate water. Generate water and so then, and then th this guy will generate water and fire, which I, I do need. Mm. Yeah, you could also <laughs> do that, but um, yeah, yeah, you can do it this way. No worries. Got some poison on them. Damn. So I really like the tech animation on the Wormling, by the way. Oh, Pretty neat, cool. huh? Yeah. <laughs> I love how it's just like... Oh, don't say that. We don't want to get sued. Oh, yeah. Uh, not Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I think the <laughs> Sega team is actually dragon. pretty chill. They're not like uh, another big company that also makes similar games. <laughs> not saying names. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I wonder, like, where Wyrmling and Tatsalworm have been hiding while Mandragora ambushed you. <laughs> were they, like, hiding behind rocks, or were they also inside there? <laughs> They're oh, just chilling. The <laughs> <laughs> Mandragora's got a whole party going on downstairs. <laughs> oh, I used that on the wrong guy. That was my bad. Oh, but you can still do the sidekick. Like, now you can stagger one or the other. I would stagger the Wormling, though. Because it's gonna do like a big action this yeah, time. Yeah, I saw it has like a four times uh, yeah, thing yeah. that it's trying to get done. It's like, nope, Damn. not allowed. There you go. <clears throat> I think this fight is not uh, going so bad. We'll see. Oof. My my, my oh. bottom guy's oh only at 7 HP. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. How yeah, did that happen? You might have to heal. <laughs> well, basically, damage. <laughs> Thanks for the More explanation. Or less. <laughs> Something Attacks, like that. Enemies doing stuff, you know. Stealing dust, <laughs> let's go. Mandy deck a hole for them all to chill, yep. <laughs> Alright, okay, let, yeah, let's take out one of them and then we can try to kill the other one. How about oh, that? no, I can't. I don't have any. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. This will add sidekick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, but I don't. Wait, no, like he doesn't good. have the water affinity, though, does he? Oh, oh, shit. I didn't see it as one more water. Oh, thing. oh, there we go. No, we're good. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Orphrus has water and fire, by the way, so its sidekick does uh, yeah. those elements. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> neat, neat. 
Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, at least we can kill one of them for sure, so I don't even have yeah. to worry about him. Uh, I am going to also want to get try to Oof. do as much damage as I can to that stupid dragon so that tree yeah. heals himself. <laughs> you gotta try to kill that dragon. Okay, let's see. But it's so cute! If I use this, it'll <laughs> apply sidekick to myself, so I'll kill I'll to get rid mm -hmm. of him. Yes, that's a smart that's move. Smart. Give myself Big sidekick. Uh, actually, I am gonna want, I think I'm going to want to heal with him. Because I only have 8 HP mm -hmm. on my other... Actually, no, no, no. If I can kill the dragon, I don't have to worry about healing this turn. Yeah, because the enemy Mandagora is going to use like a healing action. Yeah. Will you really be able to... Yeah, oh yeah, I can kill him for sure. Because yeah, sidekick's yeah, going to yeah. kick yeah, in and then I still have a third attack. Yeah. Nice. Neat, neat. Oh yeah, Comet Rush. That's pretty strong, by the way. Like, it applies sidekick, and if you manage to interrupt the enemy, you also get power on the monster. Yeah, and I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, there you go. Dead. Get out of here. Get wrecked. <laughs> All right. At the start of turn, replies. To, okay. Uh, as long as this monster has redirect. Okay. Well, that only works if I already have it. Uh, uh -huh. Generates random aether. I'll take that. Uh, it triggers when this monster is attacked. Or receive uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I'll take exactly that. Exactly. Whenever it gets attacked, but it also triggers whenever Ooze actually takes poison damage, which is pretty neat. Perfect. So you just basically get one more Efa every turn, which is not bad. As long yeah, as this monster has battling. sidekick, others get two damage. That's pretty good. When your allies mm -hmm. have healed for twenty times in a sick okay, I'm not even gonna. Uh, for every mm, fifteen healing, trick, yeah. this monster receives. Okay, I I'm gonna take the leadership. Mm, that can be strong, definitely. All right. In a, nice. Like in a party like yours, where you have like uh, multiple damage dealers, like you can get psychic on offers and then do like a ton of damage with um, Wolpethinger, basically. Heals ally with lowest health for four. At combat start, gain five shields. Okay. I mean, I mean, your offers doesn't have something yet. Yeah, I might so. as well just give it to him. Okay. Can you switch the items that they're carrying or no? Currently not. Oh, okay. Later, ah, probably not sure. <laughs> I think we have mixed opinions about inventory, right, Anton? <laughs> not sure yet. Mm. How we handle the whole ah. item situation. I mean, we will have an inventory. Just not sure when. Because, <laughs> 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 like, you know, game development. There's so many things. Hey, you can do hey, hey, oh, what, what are you is doing? What's going on? Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it will that never Wait. happened before. Uh, the witch on. Okay, I found this scroll of. It enhances monster affinity for one of its elements. Do you take the scroll? It will enhance a monster's basic attacks to deal damage of the respective element and generate an additional aether of that element. Oh, mm -hmm. so I get to give somebody. Uh, I get to get who who is my who 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 is my strongest guy again? Was that the two-headed dog? Mm, well, it's more like a basic attack, uh, like um, like a support thing because it only works on the basic attacks, which is not like doesn't include like the special attacks. Mm. It's more of like a way of like um, yeah, getting like extra stuff out of your uh, extra value out of your basic attack. I All would right. maybe give it to Ooze. I'm not sure actually on which one. Let's give it a let's give it a shot. I can choose oh. uh, for water. Um, I think probably water because I use water more because I had both of them have mm -hmm. that splashy bubbly sure, sure. thing. All right, go away. Love how you're running away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dragons. Not so easy. <laughs> Definitely. Wait, what's a circle icon on the map mean? Um, that uh, represents like uh, different interactables. But it's oh. like something that only appears when you kill the enemies that are there. I think oh, it's okay. the group that you like that are like on the left. Um. But yeah, if you want, you can probably actually go to the champion because, like, if you fight a fight now, you won't get that much out of it, I guess. 
like one more XP and like another equipment basically. Like that mm -hmm. item is like uh, an equipment drop. You might get like a good equipment out of it, but you might also die and get some <laughs> more corruption as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like one of like the decision points in the game, like which fights do you take, which ones do you not take. I mean, usually it is better to take all of the fights, but in this situation it might be better to fight the... Oh wait, there's another enemy group. Yeah, there's I mean, two if you want, you can, you can fight like both enemy groups and get like a level up on Wolpertinger. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, can I even leave the area without fighting them? Uh, you should be able to. Where's the exit? <laughs> Is that exit? What is going on here? Huh. Huh. Oh, at the bottom? Oh, oh alright. Yeah. yeah, there's more at the bottom right, yeah. <laughs> there are two types of people. People that dash around constantly, or that never use the dash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite a controversial topic. Oh, jeez, me. Jeez uh, Louise. <gasps> the tentacle boy is your final boss, that's so epic. Oh my god, he's back. Oh my oh god, my he's gosh. level 7. It was like, oh my gosh. Oh, only you level left me behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ooh. You know what? Screw it, guys. Let's go all in. Let's go. Oh my god. Uh, oh, god. Right. Jackson, yeah, you get you get uh, gold sometimes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, boy, but that's what it's called. All right, epic let's go. fight. Uh, I holy let's crap! Go. He has 407 HP. That's kind of oh crazy. God, that's so much. The void has chosen wind. <laughs> Whenever an ally enemy uses a wind action, gen generates wind aether. Okay. Yeah, just to let you know that, like, if you use wind actions, you will help it generate wild ether. So I don't want to like, use wind against him? Uh, you kind of need it, but, like, you could try to just focus on earth for now, like, if you want. Yeah, because it changes because every round. If yeah. you remember, back back in the good old days when you had your own <laughs> tentacle ball, yeah. you had this really strong action that cost five wild ether, right? Yeah. So just saying, you don't want the enemy Star spawn to get to five wild ether. He <laughs> can't even do anything now. <laughs> I love this <laughs> comment. He's back for revenge for not paying attention to his HP. Yeah. You pay attention to his HP now that he's against you, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty optimistic for you, actually. I'm not. It, it is possible. You can do it. I don't know. I feel like in the past hour you have had such a learning curve. Like, you know the game so well already. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the mindset, Ed. Oh, he's wind again. <laughs> Screw you, man. Again. Damn, damn. That's some bad RNG. Was there somebody asking about RNG? <laughs> yeah, or... true. Someone asked about RNG. <laughs> this is a bad example. <laughs> mm. Question Does the steel move steel wild? Mm, no, right? It should. Maybe if he, I oh, mean, only... it depends. To, to... Yeah. I mean, if Star Spawn is planning to use its Star Beam, and if it's at exactly five wild ether, you should be able to steal the wild ether. Yeah. I think. So probably. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. Probably. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Might also be a bug, and we don't know it yet. <laughs> well, that's the fun of the closed alpha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're not doing too bad. You're not doing too bad. Oh, guy at the bottom, though. He... He getting a little bit hurt. Ah! Oh, the icy assault. That one is so strong, that attack. Damn, damn. Holy hell. Wind again? Bro. Damn, but you got us to stagger it, I think. I gotta use this. Keating slime, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Damn. Yeah, now now we gotta we gotta stagger this guy at all all costs. Yeah. Uh first I gotta uh Wait. By the way, if this you still got two, champion, though, if I don't if I don't steal it, a wind, I'm I'm not gonna be able to even use get his wind uh, going. Oh, icy assault. Yeah, oh, three. Yeah, yeah. So so this will this will oh, actually yeah. take him out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would also purge a bunch of ether. Nice. But um, yeah, when you stagger an enemy champion, it only takes away one of the actions, so they still get to do one action. By the way. 
Oh, because they usually champ, get to yeah. do a two per turn. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. To make it okay. a bit tougher, of course. <laughs> Can't get that side kick going. That easily. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, that's not an icy assault coming. Oh my gosh. So many sevens. Oh. Okay, okay. Fire, okay. Oh, you gotta heal, I think. Right? Yeah, no, I definitely have to heal. Uh, um, healing dust, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. still gonna be able to use that good move, too. You can do it, I think. Um, what about the other one, wait, the, the, the Comet Rush? Yeah, I could just go all in. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you don't need the Eva this turn, right? Like, for anything that what thing I can do. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hit him hard! <laughs> cool. And then... Uh, applies oh, to, so yeah, regeneration to myself too. Might want to go yeah. with this. Then I get sidekick. Hell yeah. I mean, you did like a hundred damage in one turn, actually. <laughs> Reset poise. Oof. No. Oh yeah, it, the, the enemy champions do that as well. Ah, Oof. So Oof. Oof. He's dead. I see a sword. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Put it all on the line. Well, let's let's keep going. <laughs> right. That's let's all we not can give do. up hope yet. <laughs> oh no. Might as well give it a shot. The deck of cards. Uh, oh. No, oh, I was damn. hoping to get two fire. Dang. Because then I could have oh, used no. used this. Yeah. That's all I can do. That's true. Might be GG's. Might be it, boys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I see assault. Delete 1v1. <laughs> no! The 1v1. Uh, you're at 6 health. <laughs> last one is at 134. Hmm. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Well... You did a good job, I think. I did all right for my first time. You <laughs> lost the run. I mean, you managed to get to the final That is, in fact, bad at games. You got me, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Man, congrats. I think I did pretty That's good. Pretty I, 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 was, I was genuinely surprised. I thought I was going to die within the first five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I yeah. thought you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, there we go, guys. We uh, sort of completed a run, almost. Yeah, you're back in the hub. It yeah, would yeah be, that's it. Like, that's filled it. with more life at some point and more meta progression things to do. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. There'll be Still so many NPCs also? you have to talk to. Romans. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, that? Actually, is, is <laughs> Hobart already named Gustavo or not yet? Oh, it's still Hobart. Okay. Yeah, Hobart is yeah. named Gustavo now because uh, capybaras are like... Uh, Brazilian animal, right? That was the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wanted to give that it a, a <laughs> Brazilian name. We also have a Brazilian uh, person in our team. That's why. Yeah, it's just exactly. Game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm definitely going to, for you guys, you 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 watchers, you viewers. I definitely will be putting <laughs> out like a follow up video, um, nice. talking about my experience. <laughs> Ooh, cool! And I um, hope... oh wait, only if it's good experience. If not, don't tell, like don't send me the link. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> no, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm really excited for this game to come out. It's coming out tomorrow, Thank right? You so much. Full full Thank access you so tomorrow. Much for doing... Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> confirmed, <laughs> definitely confirmed. <laughs> you see so plans for next week. Um, you know, five new monster skins in like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> edit the video oh, okay. to make it look like you defeated the final boss that's a great suggestion <laughs> you should take that do, do, do you, hey, hey Kaiser do, do you think I know do you think I can actually video edit have you seen my videos <laughs> if it's not a crossfade I can't do it bro <laughs>
Yeah, LP okay. Gamer said it good. Congrats to all the alpha testers. Try to enjoy it enough for all of us. Yeah, man. Jackson already asking for a DLC. Well, we don't even have the game yet. So nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, uh, you already announced that like um, there's gonna be like more alpha testers, right? Uh, I have actually, but not in the stream. Yeah. So uh, for everyone who didn't uh, win the giveaway we did before, we will probably pull again next week. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. Pay attention to announcements. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, if everybody's uh, good, I think we're going to end the stream here. I got to uh, yeah. go do dad stuff because I got to pick up my kids soon. So um, nice. thank, you, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you, too, for uh, showing up and uh, helping me through this. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ed, for playing. It was so <laughs> exciting. Of course. And I got the Aethermancer Steam page and Moirai Discord server. Uh, linked in the description if you guys want to check it out and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you have to you're not you're not allowed not to yes so absolutely do that, that i want to hit awesome. 100k one day so we need we need, we need to get there <laughs> we're getting there anyways guys uh thank you so much and we'll see you later bye 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 bye, bye. <laughs> and